Hello, fellow humans. My name is Kurt Smolik. I am the author of Enemies of Moral. Um, time of Moral is time forgotten, time before written. Uh, history, history has been taken. So, in my book, Ancient Aliens, aliens come here many thousands of years ago, build these cultures in Egypt with the pyramids, in South America with the Mayans, and they become the rulers, the pharaohs, the kings. Well, in time, the humans fight back. They, the aliens are forced back to their main base, which is Atlantis. They sink Atlantis so the humans cannot get to them, and they stay in hiding. But over time, some of in disguise come into our society and are trying to take control of our world again now through being in high positions in the government and, and here and there and building their own army. So in my in the book, my team is called Infectus Fighter. They consist of a half-bred alien and human. His father was the one that crashed in Area or in, in Roswell was taken Area 51. Um, Grim, which was a he's a Marine. Bigfoot, yes, Bigfoot is in my book. His parents were killed by aliens because they aliens can't control like giants or Bigfoot. Um, these mythical creatures like this, they just can't control them, so they, they, they try to do away with them. So Bigfoot has a, a little bit of revenge. So he wants to be part of the team, or becomes. they, they look for him and find him. Um, we got Powerhouse, which was an old farm boy that got was mixing chemicals for insecticide, got shocked by a, a mishap while he was messing with insect chemicals, insecticides. And now he has an exoskeleton, which makes him really strong. Um, Spellbinder, which is Merlin's great-great-granddaughter, has a pet dragon, has all his secrets. Spitfire, which her mom and dad were archaeologists, found in South America, found some artifacts. The aliens shot their plane down when they were trying to come back home to the United States. Her parents died in the crash. She survived. She spent many years in the, in the jungle raised by jaguars. She's now been found, raised up. She still has a pet jaguar named Jax. She's been trained in uh, to be a, like a ninja. She's very good with swordsmen. Sword, a swordsman. Um, we have Aquarius, which is the last descendant of, of uh, Atlantis. All, most of her relatives died when they sunk Atlantis. And we have Wavelength, which came from the future. His team was from our timeline in the future that when aliens have taken totally over, they send him back in our timeline to help win a few battles that Infectious Fighter has lost to try to change the timeline. So this group of seven fighters come together, all unique abilities to try to fight these aliens. They end up in a lot of different battles down the road. and They end up having a major battle in Antarctica where the aliens are hidden. Um, they recruit the giants. The giants are still hidden in hidden in the caves of the mountain. The giants do, do not like humans, but they hate aliens even worse. So the, they team up against the aliens. Um, the Nazi army, supposedly in World War II, when war was ending, they knew they were losing. Hid down in Antarctica. So they are down there also controlled by the aliens. There's this huge battle at the end. And, uh, you know, it's just, it's a good overall story with magicians, with time travel, with Bigfoot, you know, a little bit of everything. I think a person could find any character they would want to relate to in this story. Um, Powerhouse is kind of a jokester, so there's all kinds of jokes. And the team kind of gets on him for joking around too much sometimes. Um, so there's a little bit of romance in it, a little bit, a couple of the fighters, you know, like each other. So there's a little bit of everything in this book. Um, so marketing-wise, I think you could, there's all kinds of characters you can make if you wanted to do, go on that route. The storyline itself, I mean, all the places, like Antarctica, supposedly there's been a pyramid in Antarctica, there's been... You know, artifacts found like from the crystal skulls in South America. I tie all this together in my story. So some real life places, 
artifacts tied in together in a storyline of why they're here and what my team's going to do now to try to stop the aliens from taking over our world once and for all. So it's, it's good sci-fi, but yet real, real, some real stuff tied in. A lot of good characters. I said Spellbinder's got a pet, a pet dragon also, so you got ja the jaguar, a dragon, you got magic, you got mythical creatures. It's just a little bit of everything. So I think for the audience, from kids all the way to adults, there's something they can relate to or a character they can like. Um, and it's action-packed through, throughout. So um, that's my sales pitch for my book. Again, Enemy is Immoral. I own the rights to it. I'm more willing to help out, do whatever I can to you know, get, get it going from here. Um, at the end of my story, there is a, an opening for a part two. Um, so if things go well, I can write the next story from this. So thank you for listening to me today. And uh, if you have any questions, please get in touch. Thank you.